This is Mr. Smith, and this is your asynchronous lesson uh, for the week. Um, previously, you have completed your turning shapes into form. It should look something like this. It might not be quite this uh, large. You should have labeled each section, sphere, cube, pyramid, cone, rectangular prism, cylinder, of course, the only one you truly have to shade right here is the sphere. You don't even have to be perfect at that because that's really more or less what we're going to be working on today is how to shade. So this is your first project this week, okay? Uh, if you go to my YouTube page, you will see the video turning shapes into forms. Watch that video. It tells you exactly how to uh, create all six shapes. Um, You'll basically put your name on that, take a photo, submit that into Canvas. Our art project for today uh, deals with pencil shading. So we're going to go a little bit more in depth, like I said in the video, about how to um, use your just a regular number two pencil to show value or to pencil shade. And we need to know how to pencil shade before we can shade with color pencils or really any other art material at that. Some of you may be very experienced at this. You may be good at this. Some of you may not have a clue. Uh, some of my eighth graders, you completed a project similar to this last year. You shaded a pumpkin. Uh, so you should be able to ace this. This should be easy for you. Um, however, practice makes perfect. Okay, It takes a lot of practice to get good at this. So if you go to uh, my YouTube page, and I'll link the video here in this assignment, uh, I uploaded a new video that says um, basic pencil shading techniques. In that video, I talk about um, different tools, different things that I have used and you can use to pencil shade. Uh, but really, all you need is simply a pencil. Now, some people use mechanical pencils. I prefer the uh, number two wooden pencils. They shade best. Uh, in the video, you're going to see I have some drawing pencils. Uh, these drawing pencils, and you're going to see tortillions, uh, Q-tips, uh, tissue paper. Uh, even some people uh, blend and shade with their finger by smudging. Um, all these things work. The drawing pencils, of course, they can be bought at places like Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Target, uh, places like that, Amazon. And I'm not saying you have to go out and get drawing pencils at all, but if you want to kind of take your art to the next step and you love drawing, you love sketching, you love shading, then I'd highly recommend you looking into getting a set of drawing pencils. They can be purchase for I think six or seven bucks at Walmart so that's for those that love it uh, and kind of want to continue and pursue their interest in art so with that said all you really need is a piece of paper and a pencil for this simple shading project okay now in the video I'll show you how to take a circle and to pencil shade that so we're adding value, and we learn with the elements of art when we add value to something that makes that gives it depth, and in turn it makes it look 3D. It basically means we're turning it into a form. It has height, width, and depth, or, or rather the illusion of height, width, and depth. Okay, so all you really need is a pencil and a sheet of paper. I don't even care if it's notebook paper. So what you can see. On my piece of paper, I have drawn a circle. Of course, this is a traced circle, okay? I did not freehand this. You might want to go to the kitchen, get a cup. Um, you might have a circle stencil. You might have um, a CD, an old DVD, something along those lines. Uh, something that you can make a perfect circle to make on your page, all right? Most important thing you can do, put your name on your work. This is just a label shaded sphere, okay? What do you think this is right over here? That is my light source. Now, 
All right. So my light source is right there. Okay. Um, you do not have to draw the light source. Okay. If it helps you, since you're learning, most of you are still learning, or this is just practice for you, and you want to add in that light source, that's that's fine. Now I, I don't I don't care if you put it on the um, the right side over here. Or if you want to put it on the left side, if you want to get really creative, put it up top. That's up to you. But you do not have to draw that in your drawing. The only thing you really need is the circle, your name, and for you to shade it. So um, I'm just going to use a number two pencil. And I'm going to start shading here. And I'm not going to shade because I've done that on the video. But I, want, I did want to mention pressure control. And pressure control is basically how much pressure you're using with the pencil. Okay, How hard are you pressing the pencil down on the paper? Uh, or how lightly are you pressing the pencil upon the paper? The harder you press the pencil down, the darker the value. The more you ease up, the lighter the value. And of course you've got a range of pressures that you can use uh, to show a nice value change, to show that nice uh, smooth transition. So that's going to be something that comes with practice. Most people mistakenly assume that for their shadow on their, their sphere or whatever they're shading, that they have to press down as hard as they can. That's simply not true. Sometimes you're not going to have that dark of values, okay? And you might have more light areas and grays and mid-tone values than you would your darker areas. That's just a reality. So I'm not going to shade this, but I'm going to get it started just to kind of give you an idea of what direction you want to take with your work. Okay, so I've got mine started. Okay, I've certainly got a lot more work to do for that. Even just looking at that, I'm not happy. I uh, definitely want to add some more uh, mid-tones in here. And you're also going to want to show that cast shadow. Some people like to add in the background. They like to shade the tabletop. And we can see I've kept working on it. I'm starting to really start to look like a sphere now. I've got the, the core shadow here, the cast shadow, which is cast out on the tabletop. Um, I even, you know, I could put a little bit of shading on the wall back here. And we can kind of see how it is starting to take shape, okay? More than likely, if this is your first time pencil shading, you, you might not have that, uh, that look, okay? But as you notice, one thing, uh, when I shade, my pencil's kind of doing this number right here. I'm not necessarily doing this because when I shade with the tip, you end up with a bunch of lines as opposed to turning your pencil on the side and you can get this value right here. Okay, You can cover a larger area in a much quicker time. That's why I say it's always difficult to shade with a mechanical pencil unless you got some tiny, tiny little object then. Uh, it is possible and I've done it and I've seen students have done it. But when you start to work on a larger scale, uh, it gets a little bit more difficult. 
So this is your assignment. Once you finish this, make sure you put your name, put your name, put your name, put your name on it. Take a photograph and submit that into Canvas. Let me know if you need any help. Um, look forward to seeing your artwork. Thanks.